Andrew Breitbart, big government, big journalism. What else is it? Big, big? Big peace. That's right. Um, he came into a couple of emails which absolutely eviscerate this disgusting Joe McGinnis and his disgusting, phony book attacking Sarah Palin. And if this doesn't put a nail into this nonsense, I don't know what will. And he writes, after a week of universally scathing pans from the reflexively anti-Palin establishment media, McGinnis now faces the fight of his literary life. The accusation that he seems to have knowingly submitted a book to his publisher, Crown Random House, that was filled with unproven, tawdry gossip and rumors that lack factual evidence. And he publishes the emails, and he says, In the email below, sent on January, in January 2011, McGinnis reveals that his manuscript, then under legal review at Crown Random House, could not prove its most headline-grabbing allegations. And yet, many of these, quote, salacious stories, unquote, that lack proof, in McGinnis's own words, ended up in the book and on televisions everywhere during the author's current media tour without proper sourcing and without any apparent new evidence to support them. In an email dated January 27, 2011, McGinnis says that Random House lawyers have told him he has provided nothing more than tawdry gossip to substantiate any of the salacious stories about the Palin family. He adds that no one has ever provided factual evidence of a number of the accusations which I will not uh, go through. It would appear, ladies and gentlemen, that this guy is a fiction writer. And a bad one at that. A hack. A vicious, vile, hateful little bastard, may I say, with all due respect. And these emails, I am told, uh, have been verified as accurate. And so shame on Crown Random House. This book is dead anyway. It's not going anywhere. Even the lib media is panning it. But now you know the rest of the story. The uh, I've said it before, but it does merit mentioning again the... Whether you support Sarah Palin, should she run for president, the, the nature and level of the assault on this lady and her family is disgusting beyond imagination. I have never seen anything like this. And I've been watching the political scene since I was 13 years old, now 41 years. I have never seen anything like this. And all the hand-wringing about the incivility of our politics and the language. It's amazing. You don't hear any of it, do you? When it comes to Sarah Palin. But it's truly disgusting. I just saw the 8 p.m. He takes this poll where they interview, where they, where they, a poll of 360-some Republicans. 360-some Republicans. Do you want Sarah Palin to run or not? 70-some percent say no. 367 Republicans. Again, whether you support her running or not, this is just a joke. More smear efforts. If a book like this had been written about Hillary Clinton, or Nancy Pelosi, or Michelle Obama, not only would they be slamming away at the author and the publishing house, it would be part of a massive right-wing conspiracy, right? They'd be dragging in talk radio, bloggers, everybody. It would be a national story for five days, and I'd be standing here having to defend myself against something I never did. Meanwhile, this piece of crap, this puke, he puts this book out. The lawyers at the publishing house say, well, you don't have anything to substantiate this. So the editor, and obviously the publisher, decide to go for it anyway. They don't give it a second thought. But Hillary Clinton, off limits. Nancy Pelosi, off limits. Michelle Obama, off limits. And by God, their children are definitely off limits. 
I mean, uh, and we sit here and we take it. Let's go to uh, Jim. Jim. 